Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. Friends, I'm bringing you some critical information today, at least in my opinion, it's critical because there are some risks emerging with Cashjavi as well as Life Genia. So shareholders of both CRISPR Therapeutics as well as Bluebird Bio would be interested in knowing this. And of course, this is um, uh, what I think as a risk and you may not consider it so, but it's worth looking at it because there will be uh, more uh, sophisticated investors who would have a team of people who can drill down into these issues and reprice the stock and we have to be aware of that so that we can cover our bases and have some strategy like covered calls or something to take care of and uh, if these uh, risks do not have any material effects on the price then we are still covered so with that said let's get started Welcome back friends. Today we need to address some critical developments concerning CASJV and LifeGenia. Two recently FDA approved gene therapies for sickle cell disease. While these approvals mark a significant achievement in, the, uh, in, in this field uh, of uh, gene therapies, uh, it is crucial to discuss the complexities and challenges that lie ahead. CASJV, as you know, was developed by uh, CRISPR Therapeutics and uh, Vertex um, and uh, LifeGenia was created by Bluebird Bio and both were offering groundbreaking treatments for sickle cell disease, once and done therapies with a lot of guarantees. And these therapies pro pro promise not just symptom management, but potential cures for this debilitating condition. However, it is too early to celebrate these achievements without considering the substantial challenges that accompany them. One of the most pressing issues is the cost of these therapies. CASJV and LifeGenia come with a price tag of 2.2 million and 3.1 million respectively. While the high cost is a significant hurdle, we must acknowledge the efforts of Vertex and Bluebird Bio in negotiating payment agreements with various payers to make these treatments more accessible. These agreements are having crucial uh, impact uh, for making the therapies viable and affordable for patients, but they introduce complexities in financial planning and sustainability. And a new and serious concern has emerged in my opinion regarding the potential loss of fertility associated with these treatments. The chemotherapy required before administering these gene therapies can lead to infertility posing a critical dilemma, especially for female patients of childbearing age. Unfortunately, we lack precise data on the percentage of female patients and their childbearing potential, adding to the complexity of this issue. And Vertex Pharmaceuticals has developed a fertility preservation program to mitigate this concern and the program provides financial support for services such as counseling, fertility drugs, collection and storage of sperms and eggs, genetic testing and in vitro fertilization up to $70,000. However, the company is facing legal challenges in implementing this program for patients who are insured through Medicaid. The Health and Human Services Office of the Inspector General or OIG has issued an unfavorable opinion suggesting that such support could violate federal anti-kickback laws. Vertex has responded by filing a lawsuit seeking a written determination to clarify the legality of their program. Similarly, Bluebird Bio has encountered resistance in securing Medicaid coverage for its fertility support program. The OIG has expressed concerns about potential fraud and abuse, leading to a disappointing ruling against Bluebird Bio's request for an advisory review. These legal battles carry significant implications. If Vertex and Bluebird succeed in their efforts, the financial burden of providing fertility care could impact their bottom lines. Conversely, if they fail, some percentage of female SCD patients may opt out of these therapies, affecting the overall treatment uptake and consequently, consequently the company's revenues. As retail investors, we must closely monitor the progress of these law legal proceedings. The outcomes will have profound effects on the profitability of these companies and the accessibility of these therapies. And it's essential to remain vigilant and informed about these developments as they unfold. In conclusion, I would say that while the FDA approvals of CASJV and LifeGenia represent a major ad advancement in sickle cell disease, significant challenges related to cost and fertility preservation remain. These issues must be addressed comprehensively to ensure the long-term viability and success of these therapies. And I would like to remind you that I think both uh, Bluebird Bio as well as Vertex and CRISPR have already given outcome-based uh, uh, promises for uh, uh, CASJV and LifeGenia uh, sales. So uh, based on that, if um, uh, the therapy did not succeed over a particular period of time after um, uh, implementation, uh, then uh, there will be a certain amount of refund uh, to the patients. Now. That also is something that has already been priced in by the market. 
So right now, I do not know if the market has priced in uh, the potential risk of paying for fertil uh, fertility treatments up to $70,000 per uh, patient, which will actually go off the bottom line, or uh, those uh, female patients uh, who do not uh, take up CASGEV or life genia because of fertility concerns. Now, if you were to take the entire universe of population who are going in for sickle cell disease therapy, then I would posit that 50% of them would be male and let us say the other 50 is female. Out of the 50% female, uh, at least at the beginning of the gene therapy uh, revolution, I think there will be a good portion of uh, female uh, patients who are beyond the childbearing age uh, and who would be coming in for these kind of therapies. So I think as we go ahead and as this therapy becomes much more uh, viable, uh, we'll see more and more uh, women of childbearing age or before uh, coming in for uh, therapy. And that could acerbate uh, the situation that we were talking about. Uh, so we have to uh, closely watch what happens here and uh, see how it's going to affect the bottom line. Maybe we'll get some commentary from either of these companies during their uh, next quarterly earnings release. And we can also keep watch of all those various uh, business columns and interviews that are published from now until the earnings uh, to see if we get some idea about this. Uh, now, friends, I'd like to hear from you what you think about uh, my uh, my concerns out here is it valid or is it uh, just overblown please let me know if you own uh, CRISPR or Bluebird and what are your plans with it and with that said I would like to request you to please press the subscribe button in case you have not yet done so and maybe you could send a link to our channel to one of your friends or more one or more of your friends uh, if they are interested in these kind of contents and request them to subscribe uh, we're trying to reach the 20,000 we are very very close to it and your support will help us get there. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.